Nice. That's oh shit, 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 shit! Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and today I'm going to explain to you how to make your own Minecraft VTuber model. What you're going to need is a Minecraft skin. You're going to need a classic and not slim size. Uh, the Minecraft model base, Unity, a matching Uni VRM that goes with the specific Unity that you have, and an art editing program. I use Clip Studio Paint. Now, <clears throat> you can make your own skin on Skindex, or like me, I've hired someone who made my skin. You're also going to need this model rig. It's for uh, VR chat, but it's fine. Just make sure you download the link in the description. Now, the first thing we need to do is we're going to have to rescale our skin because it's too small. You can technically use it this small, uh, but it's going to be very blurry and blocky. So what you're going to do if you're in Clip Studio Paint is you're going to want to change the image resolution. And when you do, you're going to do the interpolation mode, hard edge to the nearest neighbor. And you're going to want to scale it up. I do it about a scale of 15. Uh, so it's about 960 by 960. And now you have the nice smooth edges. You save it because we're going to need that when we go into Unity. Now, I'm going to assume you already have UniVRM already installed. But you're going to drag and drop your Minecraft player rig package right into Unity and allow that to do its thing. Uh, once you do that, you can open it up and you'll see that you have this blank model. And uh, they do have some maps and stuff there, but we're not going to worry about that. So just drag it right into the program. And you're going to see where it says, like, uh, skins and stuff. That's their skins. We're not really going to use those, but the UV map we will later on. Now we're going to go into the materials and we're just going to drag one of the UV maps on there to just see what it looks like, right? And this shows you how the uh, UV is set out. It's very mirroring left and right so you might need to adjust accordingly in your uh, avatar skin now i changed this to a uni vrm shader which you just use to drop down m tune uh, for some reason the emissions was on so i turned that off make sure it's on white and i usually turn the shader to white too um i think i do that a little later but yeah this just gives you a general idea so when we go over into the skins you can see here, I right click and I uh, show an explorer so I can take this and put it inside my art program. And I'm going to kind of show you how it overlays on top of your model. And this way you can kind of like adjust it accordingly. Here we go. And just, I just scale it to size. Um, and if you lower the opacity, you can kind of see how everything lines up and matches. And if you need to adjust things, you can. If you don't have a symmetrical model, it does make things really complicated. I will be honest with you. Um, there is one section of this that we are going to have to edit. In fact, I edited it a few times as I go through. Because sometimes I just don't realize how things look on the model. But, anyways. Uh, back in here, we're going to drag and drop our skin. And we're going to use that in the material. So when we go back over into the materials folder, you can uh, just click on the button and find your skin and just add it in. And ta-da! Uh, I also like to turn off the cull mode so it's off. And then you can also adjust the alpha cutoff so you don't have the white lines. Um, and in here, you'll notice that like the bottom of the head was a little turned around. I'm not sure why it's like this, um, but you'll notice in my examples that I've shown before that the head was on backwards. I didn't realize it at the time, and I was way too lazy to fix it. But yeah, you can just uh, grab the head portion, and then you're just going to rotate it. Make sure you're on the right skin. And safe. Make sure you import the new one if you're not using the right one in there. It might take a second to update, but you'll be able to see the difference. Uh, now I'm going to come over here. And so 
In this, what I do is I also make it so it talks and it blinks. So I grab roughly the eye shape, which is a uh, three by three. And I do what looks like an eye close texture. And I'm just trying to give it a bit more of that Minecrafty feel with the different colors, but you can do however you want. Uh, you're gonna save this as eye closed. If your left and right look different eyes, you're gonna have to make one for each. It's fine. Uh, and then I'm going to do a color for uh, the mouth. And I'm going to just crop this out to only that color. And mind you, you don't have to do a texture for this. You can do it in the program. But I prefer to do uh, a texture color because it makes it easier for me when I turn them on and off later on. So now that I've added my uh, textures in there, we need to get a blend shape option on here. And in order to do that, we're going to export it as a uni VRM, uh, add your missing information. And at this point you can leave it as this, like it can just be basic. It doesn't talk, it doesn't blink. It's just the head moves, the body moves, fine. Um, if you want to add the talky motion like mine has and the blinkies that mine has, uh, this is how I basically do it. So I open the prefab and over on the head, I add a 3D object of a plane. Now I'm gonna rotate this on the X 90 degrees. And I'm going to scale this down to be approximately the shape of a mouth. I wanna get this as close to the face skin as possible between the face and the, I guess, helmet or hat texture, the outer texture. Um, and this is going to be where we put our textures for mouths and our texture for eyes. Uh, but we're going to make one for each. So right now I'm getting as close as possible without clipping. And I'm going to end up adjusting this to be one of the mouth shapes. Now, normally you have like A, E, I, O, and U. I, however, do the uh, uh, E and the I as the same texture because they're pretty they're pretty close in mouth form and when we're working with this blocky thing it's fine so the this one's the e and the i and then i'm going to duplicate it and now i'm going to make one for the a and this is what the a shape is going to look like and then i'm going to duplicate it again well a little just was to be duplicate again make an o uh u and then i'll do it again and make the o And you can just make these sounds yourself to kind of get an idea of what the shape should be like. A, E, U, E, O. And we're going to add the textures after. And now that I finished the eye, uh, the mouths, I'm going to work on the eyes. And those need to be the three by three that I had before. And we get kind of the general size here and I just adjust accordingly. That looks about right. And we want it to cover the eye completely because it's basically going to act as like an eye patch. I name it uh, eye right and I'm going to do the eye left. Um, just to keep things a little bit more organized for myself. I've also been turning off the ones below it just so I can kind of see what I'm doing as I work along. Now I'm going to create a new material. This is going to be the eye closed. I'm going to use the same one for both of them. Um, well, I, I, I'm going to make two separate ones, but it is going to be the same for both of them. I change the shader to Mtune. I do cutout, and then I usually do cull mode back. I make sure there's no shade color, and then I apply the texture on it. So now you can see what it looks like if it's turned on and off. On, off, on, off, on, off. Um, so now I'm going to create another one. And it's going to be the eye closed, right? And this is so I can have like different blinkies. So both, like I can wink and I can uh, have them both blink at different s rates. Different blinkies, it's the technical term. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically just gonna repeat the same thing for the right eye as I did the left eye. Now I'm going to be making uh, the different materials for the mouths. They're not going to have any shading. They're going to be cut out for the rendering type. The cold mode it should be back and, you know, uh, color white, shadow white, 
like that. And I'm gonna do it for each, the A, the E, the O, the O. And I'm gonna make sure I label them so I can find them later on. And now I click on the material and I just sort of drag and drop it over in the element. So I'll grab the U material and then drag it up to the element. Same with the O, the E, all of them basically. Uh, and currently all of them are on. Now I have moved all my materials in my material section. You don't have to do it, but I did. And now what I'm doing is I'm turning the alpha to all these off which is this little line at the bottom that says A. It's a little off screen here, but you'll see later on when I turn them on, I bring the screen back. And here I need to put it in cut out. It makes it go away. Now we're in the blend shapes. We want the uh, third one in, which says is the blend shapes. You click on A, you go over to the material tabs, select the A. You're going to change the color. And here I bring it in. And you can see at the bottom, that's the alpha. So you're gonna turn the alpha all the way up here and make sure the color is on white. Now in the preview, it's gonna be giant because the plane was originally giant and technically you can adjust it um, in other programs, but. So this also allows like weird shape movements for the head. And so what I did here is for the, uh, the talking to give it a little bit more of a dynamic movement, I ended up uh, adjusting it just slightly so now like the head will move up just a little bit when it's doing a so it's kind of doing a squash and stretch effect and like E is a wide one so it's like I'm kind of squishing it down a little bit and over here since I used the uh, E and I for the same shape and I'm just checking which one I like and how I want it to bounce and where I want it to bounce and I'm going through all these doing the exact same thing over and over uh, and then you'll also do the uh, the blinks. On the blink, you're going to do both of them at the same time. And on the uh, left blink, you're only going to do the left blink. And on the right blink, you're only going to do the right blink. And that's pretty much it. You're done with it. You're going to select the model and export the VRM. You're going to load it up into VC Face or whichever program you use for tracking. And you're going to hit start. And now this model will be able to track your mouth movements uh, and your blinks. You can uh, also set it to like mic. It'll track your hands if you have leap motion or body tracking, and it's pretty good. I mean, I like it and I use it for my streams. Uh, by the way, if you didn't know, I stream uh, gaming over on Twitch, and every Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern, I stream my Minecraft videos. So if you want to support me and come check it out, you can check me out over there. All right, thank you guys. Bye! Ow! Ah! Ah! Ah!